live from the command center in Minnesota. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you some other new products that we're building right here. We are using these kind of boxes. If you guys, you know what it is. So just like you use for hanging files and something, and you can see all the goodies down here. You can use it for storing, like some people use a document or something. So we, I improvise it. And what I have here is a USB uh, type C to type C to PD and USB 3.0. And uh, we have a charger here, USB um, type C, type C, and USB. 3.0 is a switch right here uh, Same thing we have here and here is a switch just like when you have those classic cars The way we used to back in the day like the 80s or something around the 70s or so You know they have vehicles. They don't have these kind of fancy knobs um, They have now you pull it that's how you turn like your your pack lights and you pull it one more time that's how you go to the low beam so you control the um the high beam through the blinker uh lever so this is how they used to turn off lights on and off so so guys this is what i did i am um, add another one here and we have two on the top so what i have done i added the um this um, inputs, I can use it also for outputs for solar inputs here. So these are like uh, banana plugs. And back here, you see what I've done. And I have a light LEDs, the amber. It's just like a button. And I have all the amber lights here, warning lights, you know, or in case you are camping or maybe you're in the woods, something probably you can put all, you know, you have a, uh, emergency on the road or breakdown then you can take this thing and set it up on top of your vehicle it's, it's going to be illuminating so that they can see you like especially in winter time and uh, which is very dangerous when you have a breakdown um somewhere in the highway or maybe in the rural areas or urban areas so today i'm going to show you some of the things we have here this is the switch right here i was talking about see the on and off switch so, and um, here are the uh, connectors, um, the chargers. It has an inline fuse, so 10 amp fuse in there. So this is the one I've been talking about, the solar. And these are right here. If you see my little toolbox, portable little gadgets, you can think about switches, breakers. Then I can able to implement uh, these lights for, you know, illuminating to show... Um, it's powered on, you know, it's sending power to the thing. It's a 12 volts right here. So I can get this all to my, uh, at my favorite store. See? And um, I was using this ones. You can use like on uh, speakers or amplifiers. They're really thick. They're robust metal. I don't know how much capacity, how much uh, current they can handle. So... Stickers from battery hookup. Woohoo! Yep. And all the goodies, everything you're thinking about. Little for little projects. We do have them here. Solder. We do have them here. So back to the batteries here. What I've had is this. You guys have seen um reviews on this before. If you haven't seen them, type them on the line. You are relying. R E L I, you know, with a little three because of the, the lithium iron. And um, you see, this is the uh, the RB10 PC, so it's a 10 amp. You can take that's a BMS in this. So I parallel all the, B, the, the, the center taps, which are the BMS here, so you can pull from here. You can only take about approximately 10 amps out of this side. Then if you want to pull about 30, 50 amps, you can use into this uh, stud right here. 
that's how I was um, notified by battery hookup. So, and um, I have a spec sheet on this one. I'll probably add it on the description below. So these are all the connectors for the amber lights you guys was you saw earlier, which is these guys right here. So I gotta put a uh, some of these guys right here to set them up then I can get my boss bar so this one is not gonna have any inverter into it it's just gonna have this is just a DC DC direct okay so this is what it is we're just gonna be pulling uh, little amps you see that's it's not like a beefy it says this is this this one was rated I think 400 amps 100 or 200 amps yeah I can't remember I already have this for a long time I think it's 100 amp so so I can set it right here and I have those um, these protection covers and I can make all the wires all the negatives probably gonna be on the top the positives on the bottom and um, it, it's really bright so I just have to link this one because they are sitting in parallel I was gonna link all these ones you know positive 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 and tie them negative negative DNA so we want to make sure if we want to pull like I can put um, another uh, stud right here like a terminal drill on this side and stick it right here like a terminal if we want to pull like um inverter small portable inverter maybe more power you can pull more power into the terminals here the studs you can do that but you want to pull just a minimum power which is controlled by the bms then you can take it from here so it depends what we want to do so i want to make sure i have all the lights or all these components here, maybe I can pull it from that, from the boss, uh, from the um, the BMS. But I'm gonna change this copper. I was just trying to balance them because it's thinner. If I'm using this to take the power out, it's gonna handle it. It's gonna. I don't have to change this at all. But I want to make sure I have everything tied to this one. If as every individual battery to tie on this, if I wanted to. Or we can pull from here and bring it to these guys here, right here. So it's going to be control and protect the batteries. It's going to control the batteries the way we discharge them because it has a discharge rate after maybe 10, 10 volts, something. Then we don't want to drag the battery all the way zero. So it's 10 divided by 4. So these ones are charging almost, um, see here it says 12.8, that's a nominal. So we can charge almost 14.4. 14, 14, so um, by doing so, when it gets to the 10 volt, so 10 divided by 4, you can see about, you know, 12 volts divided okay what is the reason why i'm saying four is right here but if you lose the cells so you divide that then it's going to give you approximately um 2.5 2.35 something whatever so that's what we want to do i had these batteries i don't even know that i still have them i try to do the calculation and they sit perfectly it's four i have eight of them eight so i was gonna find a box where i can do this thing but this is gonna be really super nice and using eight four batteries here then i can able to take it from the boss this one and all the way here so that's how we charge or this is how we discharge we charge from here but the only thing if you're charging from these uh terminals you have to make sure that your charge controller is regulated properly for the cutoff because it's not protected anymore because this side is the bypass the bms the bms is bypassed on this big terminals here only the bms controlled through these little terminals here 
this is how you monitor this is how you drain this is how you charge but remember if you have a hundred watt solar panel to charge this you might be throwing more amps or maybe 200 watt solar panels then you're gonna start feeling the heat because this um buses these terminals they're flimsy and since it's a still con constant currents if one of these constant voltage constant current if one of these uh bms here is tired or something or maybe it gets to a point um one battery is over voltage protection kicks in then you see you started throwing more amps into these two and all of a sudden it started getting hot and what's going to happen is disconnected so i want to do maybe the discharge on this side if i do discharge from this here i have to have a controller or if it's an inverter, you know that it cut off at 11 point something or instead of 10. So they can drag this thing all the way to 9 volts. You kill the battery totally. So you don't want to do that. So i uh, rather maybe charge from here and discharge from here. With all these guys, don't take too much power. They take about 4.8 amps on that 3 um, USB 3.0, which is the... Uh, um, um, Type C, Type C, so 3.8 or uh, 4.8. So 4.8. If you calculate this, I uh, calculate this one. You see how much you pull in from here. You have a 10 amps is allowed to this BMS. 10, 10, 10. We have 40 amps. We cannot pull 40 amps to charge. We're not going to be able to utilize all this stuff simultaneously. You see what I'm saying? And um, we can't pull all these things simultaneously. So this is what I, I already plan. How I'm going to do it. And um, this probably going to be tied to different lights or combine these two because this is a 25 amp. It's a 25 amp um, uh, DC switch. See that? So I can able to tie this a uh, USB type C type C on one of these switches right here. Okay. These ones I can able to tie directly. I don't need to fuse them. I don't have to. They already have an inline fuse. So I can just tie them directly to the bus. Right here. If anything overloads the wire is rated and the fuse is rated for this wire, it's just going to blow up. Blow off the fuse. It's fine. I don't have to worry about it. Get put another switch. It's already have an on and off switch right here to turn it on and off right here and right there. So these are the ones I doesn't have. So I don't have. I'm just gonna probably use this three, which is a 4.8, 4.8. We are still sitting, you know, eight to so about about almost very close to 20 amps. So if I have 20 amps into this 25 amp, or 14 amps, I think 14 point something amps total. This three, so I can use this 25 amp switch. And this guy's just gonna wire directly. Then I'm gonna put these lights, these lights here, to to uh, another five or ten amp, or uh, whatever. But whatever I have here, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna be buying. I don't need a, a toggle switch. I don't want those ones because uh, back and forth and cutting these things sometimes can be kind of a pain. Well, these ones I can just put all the way vertical and ready to go. So, guys, this is what I have. Here's what the solar is coming. So, I'm going to make sure that this one, the solar, tied before the charge controller. What's, maybe I'm thinking about doing a Victron, maybe a 75 amp. Bring this guy, and we're going to be charging it directly to the batteries here. But the only thing we have to set the parameters correctly so that we cannot throw too much power into this. Which the BMS is going to be sending the power. It, it sees the battery is charging. So if the battery is charging, then it's going to regulate more um, how the batteries which are going faster. They can charge it. They can disconnect. You know. But if I tie them right here, I can charge them from here. It's going to be a lot of restriction. Because each battery is just a 10 amp. BMA, 10 amps you can pull from this guy 10 amps you can charge by paralleling them you can throw almost about 40 amps or whatever but if you throw 20 30 amps into this that's why i was going to tie all here the negatives or the 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 the, the bms's 
to the boss. So I'm gonna run some wires here and tie them all the way, the, all the batteries tied so they can able to charge evenly instead of charging them this method or discharging them this method. So if I have to be the case, I have to get the negative here and the positive right here to pull if we wanna distribute the power. But this is what I was thinking about doing. Tie these four batteries into here, okay? Then we link all these negatives to negative to negative, positive, positive, positive. So we want to pull more power. We can pull it from this side. I can put some terminals on the corner here, you know, and we can just leave it alone. We charge and discharge from here. We can get full control of the BMS. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA. I hope you like this video and I hope you like what we're doing. If you feel appreciated or you think um, you want to commend us for our work, our skills we put in here, guys, I will um, encourage you. We have a thank you button right there. Never been utilized. Maybe it's about time to start doing that. And uh, so that they can fund some of these projects we are doing here for you guys. And uh, we can able to bring more contents coming your way live from the command center in Minnesota. So stay tuned, stay tuned, guys, and be sure to like and subscribe and share this video, okay? So always check into our thank you button. And, uh, you know, maybe you can buy us a coffee or maybe you can able to, you know, get us a tea. It depends. Whatever you want to do. Bye for now. Stay tuned for the next part of the video that is coming live from this channel. Like and subscribe.